Paul talks about in Philippians, just like if you want to live your life in a manner worthy of the gospel, live in agreement, have the same heart, mind, love. And um, I was, didn't really know what that meant until years of membership in small groups, where even though we don't always think the exact same thing, we always show up together. Um, and then it's a great, great opportunity for um, living in the light and confessing and repenting. It's just been a blessing to see uh, Highland come around individuals through celebrations or through moments of sorrow. I think um, it was unexpected. Uh, it was something that we didn't expect because of the size of Highland. So it's just been a beautiful thing to see that even in a big church setting, uh, people still take the time to have community with each other and to care for those celebrate during the happy times and care for those who are going through hardships. Um, I think we've seen a lot of the practical examples and maybe the more personal examples um, through being involved in smaller communities and being kind of extending beyond our time in the gathering even where you know we get to know somebody in denial but it's different when you're in community with them and when you're spending nights with them and you're spending um, extended time with them and so you know in our CG where you're just hearing um, about uh, what's going on in families lives and knowing how to pray and how to serve alongside them uh, when you're seeing the Lord work um, in our ABF we've seen it in so many ways for us as the butlers we have seen that a, a major growth in our own family you know we've been in ministry together for over 28 years but I have to say the last two years our kids have just really been able to experience God on a different level and it's been such a sweet thing for us so we've seen God move in our college student um, from high school, junior high, to the elementary programs here at Highland. And then personally with our family, um, being an adopted family, we have been so blessed to be able to see the Lord move um, within Highland, but also how sweet Highland is supportive of adopted families. One time somebody asked me, um, have you met anybody in Waco that's adopted? And we, were, we laughed and said, we've yet to meet anybody who hasn't adopted. And a lot of that is just our Highland family. And so it's nice to be in a community with families that are like-minded, um, like we are, and just to be able to do life together has been such a blessing for us. I think we say often, like, how can people face life when they don't have the hope of Christ, but also how do people um, face difficult circumstances or even um, raising a family when they don't have a church community? I think we've seen so many examples um, in our small groups of families surrounding other families going through tragedy or even joyful times by um, just showing Christ's love in such practical ways, whether it's bringing meals or setting up prayer chains or just showing up at their homes for support. Um, I think that is something we've never been a part of before, a church family that's been so servant-minded. Truly, this community has brought us through some very difficult seasons of life and especially being at Waco High School that, and teaching for the first time, I was literally a, just jumping into teaching here when I came here. And um, if it wasn't for my worship team and my community here, I don't know if I would have made it through. So to be quite honest, like we need our people. Like yes, God is capable of all things and we need God and we need Jesus. Um, but Jesus also makes it abundantly clear that we need our people as well. What I've seen, uh out of some of the older sort of people that have been here, well-seasoned people that have been here for many, many years versus uh, the people that are younger and younger in their faith, is there such a connection between really all of those age groups. Uh, the older people want to see the younger people grow. The younger people want to get involved. Um, I think one of the things that I love about Highland and just about what God is doing at Highland um, is that um, I think that there are so many different generations throughout the church. Um, and so um, I've gotten personally to experience Mark Weibel specifically um, called me out like my sophomore year of college. That for me was like the start of realizing that I wasn't just an athlete, that I wasn't just a student, but that I was a 
daughter of the King of Kings and that meant that I had a story to tell. I, I really hope that Highland continues to be a church that is for the city, a church that um, with the Wellness Center can just be a model to other churches around the state on what the church can be. And, and honestly, a, a church that becomes more and more diverse and uh, that our neighborhood is a representation of our church. It's, it's been a journey, it's been difficult, but the Lord has been faithful to us and to so many other people here at Highland by just being present, right? Being present in the community and the people here. He speaks to us, speaks words of encouragement through, through Pastor John, um, through, through the, the worship team, through our friends and, and the community here at at Highland. When I think about why God has been faithful to Highland, the only thing I can think of is His goodness because we couldn't earn God's faithfulness. It's not anything. We couldn't say that we're so faithful that God's faithful because it doesn't work like that. God's faithful because He's good and we get to reap the benefits of that as a family, as a society, and as a church, uh, and as, as uh, as a culture, so uh, we're so grateful for God's faithfulness every day. God, uh, God is faithful to Highland because He's, it's just His character. He's just a faithful God, and I mean, it's interesting to think like, yes, this church has been around for a hundred years, which is way longer than I can really comprehend. But His church has been around for, you know, two thousand or many thousand before that. You know, the, the root that we're coming out of is ages old and his character never changed during all of that.